sorry, now I'm putting stopwatch. Okay, very nice <coughs> meeting. So, I'm going to talk about uh, FPMS code, which I developed. Uh, so, the main uh, developers are me, myself, and Rino Natoli, and uh, Jun Chin, who was an uh, ex uh, PhD student, and uh, uh, Fukiko, she uh, graduated uh, PhD uh, last year, and uh, this year, and now she's working at uh, a company. And Yoshiaki and uh, Nodoka. Uh, Nodoka is now going to University Camerino uh, to do PhD course. <clears throat> so uh, the main uh, contributors are these people. <clears throat> and as I uh, uh, so this one, I don't need probably here. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, let's say uh, last time. <clears throat> I talked about the uh, main part of the theory. So our full potential uh, theory is based on the green theorem. <coughs> and uh, after many, many let's say, de uh, derivations, we get, uh, end up multiple scattering uh, theory. <coughs> multiple scattering uh, theory. Uh, in this framework, uh, we can have a better sometimes description for some uh, anisotropic systems. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, this code uh, can calculate photoelectric angular distribution, uh, PAD pad, uh, with some help of the interface uh, for uh, MS spec code, which uh, DD Sevio uh, developed. <clears throat> so we can do both uh, absorption and emission within the uh, full potential scheme. <clears throat> and then uh, also in the code, uh, we can handle some uh, electronic charge density calculated by several uh, band codes and also uh, quantum chemist code, chemistry code, and we can cooperate with them. <coughs> so, uh, briefly, uh, I show some results for X-ray absorption cases. <coughs> uh, last time, uh, I showed several cases, but that time I didn't have much time, so I can beat, uh, repeat uh, about the results. <coughs> so, <coughs> Uh, FBMS can handle muffin approximation molecule and full potential, sometimes no muffin we call molecule. So this can, this is, okay, I forgot to write here, GCL4, germanium chloride 4, and, and then we calculated uh, KH of uh, germanium atom. <coughs> so you see that, uh, Full potential case, we use uh, BCC <coughs> lattice points so that uh, uh, chlorides are at the uh, <coughs> corners, also here, and the other corners, uh, we put these so-called empty cells and then cut uh, the cells like this. <coughs> so we get this uh, Voronoi polygon. And uh, in this dark uh, cells, empty cells, we don't have a uh, nucleus, but in the atomic cells, we have a uh, nucleus and charge density. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the difference is that uh, not only has a space feeling, and also for muffin tin kids, there's a kind of, let's say, uh, ambiguity for choosing a uh, muffin tin radius and also uh, B0 constant. Also, we can put also empty spheres, but also uh, depends on the, let's say, uh, places where we put and so on. So 
instead of this, uh, full potential doesn't have this. So, but we can of course play with the, this kind of parameters. But I try to, let's say, uh, have some uh, easy comparison between uh, raw muffin tin, not let's let's say doing the best case, but the raw muffin tin and uh, just putting full potential, but with empty uh, cells. Uh, about two thousand, I think. Okay. Anyway, so the results. So, germanium KH of GCL4. You see that experiment has these two bumps for XA absorption, but the uh, muffin thing, this green one, uh, has wider, let's say, rather wide peak, and then missing this bump. But full potential can make it. And uh, another important point is that. <coughs> Uh, we don't have some strange uh, behavior uh, on uh, L expansion. So this is as a uh, homogeneously uh, converging. Uh, this one is another molecule case. Uh, of course, uh, if there are symmetries, uh, we can treat better. But if there is no symmetry or low symmetry case, much more complicated. Uh, but we start from this kind of simple cases. So experiment for selenium 2 KH, you see that the red one has main peak and then like this. And muffin thing case can make this one. This is an unpolarized spectrum. Unpolarized means uh, irradiated X-ray uh, has uh, no polarization, but we can separate uh, Z polarization and X, Y. Z, it means uh, along the molecular axis. So you see that uh, full potential calculation, green one, can have better description. <coughs> and uh, instead, muffin tea has this superior uh, peak. So this is because of this X, Y polarization, because uh, Muffin thing case error can be seen that uh, since there is a constant B0 everywhere, uh, so that uh, this XY, let's say, uh, linear uh, polarization can make wrong, let's say, traveling uh, with a constant, let's say, B0. B0 has a constant, let's say, part. This makes uh, effective uh, kin kinetic energy of the photoelectron makes bigger. So this uh, is kind of one of the reasons. <laughs> and bromine atom uh, molecules uh, also the same. Always we have uh, for muffin calculation have this kind of superior state, <laughs> but experiment has a simpler structure and full potential can have similar. <laughs> And this is silicon oxide alpha quartz. This uh, alpha quartz has uh, diamond structure. Diamond structure always full potential, uh, no, muffin tin calculation fails. So uh, experiment has several peaks, but muffin tin, this green one, doesn't have several peaks. Muffin, uh, full potential instead, the red one, no muffin tin can uh, generate this. <coughs> So, uh, short summary that uh, usually linear molecule or layered structure, but layer not very, I'd say, far, not very close. Some distance, maybe three angstrom or 2.5 angstrom, maybe, yeah, such distance makes trouble. And uh, two dimensional system and diamond structure always. <coughs> Uh, so, Nodoka made uh, some uh, development on the code uh, recently. So, she implemented uh, the electric card of all time. <coughs> and for full potential case, uh, looks rather ugly because uh, everything uh, becomes uh, non diagonal part is important. So, T matrix becomes really matrix, not 
just the diagonal part. So this makes really many, many uh, internal sums everywhere. So that's a complicated. So we should calculate some uh, internal sum of uh, Gond coefficient and so on. And instead, for Muffinity potential case, uh, you see more, uh, let's say, simple uh, look. Anyway, so we calculated uh, Anataze. Uh, this case bit uh, spatial has some spaces, so we, we need some uh, empty cells and the full potential uh, description. And so you see that, uh, so including uh, E2, but we don't talk much about E2. Uh, I'd say uh, quadrupole because we have some more, uh, we need some more, I'd say, improvement. Uh, but you see that muffin team, green one, and the experiment has very different shapes for K8, titanium K8. But for full potential, has much better description. So this kind of special case also, uh, it happens. This big, uh, say, discrepancy. <clears throat> and always, uh, I didn't have time to prepare some uh, slides of talking about uh, automatic generation of empty cells and the size of the uh, cells. So uh, we did some, we made some automatic uh, program to make uh, cluster and truncate everything uh, by Monte Carlo and the Metropolis algorithm by my uh, ex-student, Masaya Ito. And we did this uh, for this MNOH manganese KH. This is a, some mineral. And you see that experiment has this uh, structure and Martin team cannot make uh, good say fitting this time so we worked together with uh, my colleague my collaborator and then we did this full potential calculation and could get better results with this automatic generation <laughs> so uh now we are going to uh let's say do some benchmarks uh, of this code uh, but uh, point is uh, there are too many things in japan for uh, this uh, professor working people in university, so really very slow, let's say, development. <laughs> but anyway. And uh, then, now I'm talking about some uh, cooperation with uh, uh, some external uh, electronic structure cause. <laughs> so I showed the results of non uh, muffin team full potential, but always using non SGF, non self consistent. Namely, atomic charges are just uh, superimposed. So, this is a, a case of graphene. So, if we use superimposed uh, charge, so you see, if th this is not spherical like, but bit uh, not, I say, not uh, realistic because there is no covalent bonding, you can see. <clears throat> However, if we use BASP and doing SGF, <clears throat> uh, electron charge is more <clears throat> uh, shared here and makes covalent bindings. <clears throat> People believe this is a big effect. It's of course, for, uh, let's say, property of uh, material, yes, but for usually spectroscopy, uh, not so much important, but still, let's see. <laughs> so we used uh, VASP uh, program to generate final state uh, the electronic charge with a core hole and frozen core, and then makes big this uh, super cell for graphene. After that, we get this nice uh, covalent bindings. And this is a result of uh, KH of uh, uh, graphene. Uh, this case, we need 30 angstrom cluster 
Why? Because uh, uh, photoelectron is traveling, uh, try to be focused like a lens uh, by electron atom scattering. And uh, if you see uh, graphene, there are many, many chain structures. So this chain structure makes focusing, focusing, and uh, make, helps uh, photoelectrons travel quite far. <clears throat> so that we need, we have to have very big, uh, let's say, cluster. <clears throat> and you see experiment has this one and this one. What is uh, this difference? So alpha equals zero degree and 74. Alpha is this, uh, let's say, angle for this, uh, linear polarization. So this is, let's say, perpendicular. And this is uh, in-plane uh, polarization. So uh, perpendicular case, you see this is self-consistent muffin thing, and this is no SGF FPMS and SGF FPMS with uh, BASP. So you see that this red one has really good uh, <coughs> Say fitting, however, uh, uh, muffin thing uh, cannot have good agreement here, and not only this, also here a bit uh, flat, and experiment doesn't have really uh, peaks, but we believe uh, in the future this will be found, and in plane uh, polarization, uh, experiment has this, and. Uh, so these are calculations. So we have this sharp peak. Uh, this is uh, not nice, but uh, you don't see here detail, but uh, there is a peak always, uh, graphene and graphite, such stuff. So there should be some uh, extrinsic uh, peak and should be uh, split and so on. So this should uh, redu be reduced, but uh, we couldn't do it. But anyway, we can have uh, peak position uh, here, and then other parts, uh, SCF calculation can make it good, yeah, and full potential. But muffin thing cannot have a very good uh, agreement. You see here also out of the face, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, so we, I talked about uh, solid uh, crystal. Uh, so far. Now I'm going to talk about uh, molecules. So uh, there's a new, uh, let's say, uh, experimental technique, so-called cold ribbons. So you see that uh, there's a beam of molecule, and then uh, we shine, we radiate X-ray onto the molecule, then we get some, let's say, uh, expo Coulomb explosion of the uh, ionized molecules. And we get here uh, electrons, photoelectron, and here fragment ions. So by using this, we can make, let's say, we can uh, have the information of molecular axis and also photoelectrons. So uh, we, we can have kind of, let's say, Free molecular uh, photoelectron diffraction. So, for this uh, app application, we wanted to do some uh, small molecule photo uh, photoelectron uh, calculation by using our code with MSPEC. So, uh, mapping the approximation for this case, CO molecule has this spherical potentials. But full potential method can make this uh, anisotropic charge density. And we did uh, non self consistent uh, calculation for uh, PET, uh, this uh, uh, photo, uh, angular distribution of photoelectrons uh, with molecular flame. Molecular flame because uh, of using this kind of new uh, experimental technique. We have, uh, the, let's say, molecular flame and uh, photoelectrons. 
And here also we did a polar, uh, no, uh, this one is a angular uh, average uh, of uh, polarization, polarization average of the uh, irradiated uh, incident photon. So by using this uh, angular uh, average, we have more, let's say, uh, simple picture of the uh, photoelectron diffraction. And you see that uh, this O1S uh, photo, uh, part makes here a focusing effect. And then this is a, a backscattering part. And here makes some kind of uh, ripples because of like photoelectron comes here and this atom makes kind of a uh, young uh, double seat experiment. So uh, if we compare these two uh, one in this uh, polar plot, you see that uh, more or less in 100 EB similar, but even 100 EB still uh, forward scattering amplitude is quite uh, different intensity because forward uh, direction scattering is done by very weak uh, potential so that uh, difference is more enhanced. However, peak positions are more or less similar, but still 100 dB, some change, we can see it. However, if we see Muffin approximation and flow potential for COO1S zanes, uh, of course, Muffin team makes some error here, but flow potential uh, has nice, but here you see higher the energy, almost a, uh, no difference, but however, still uh, change is uh, obvious. So uh, we want to do, uh, we tried some, uh, let's say, uh, calculation for future experiment for two color expel. So we use a pump expel and then after that, we get photoelectron and OJ uh, electron out. So both uh, atoms become plus and plus dicapium. So this starts coulomb uh, explosion. And uh, after the delay time delta T, we uh, shine this probe expel and see the photoelectron. So we can see the dynamics of uh, this uh, coulomb explosion. For this, uh, there are several choices that uh, of final stage electron uh, configurations. So we uh, did calculation with uh, uh, our say, collaborator using CAS SCF to do, uh, let's say, uh, configuration interaction in uh, some space, and then here for hole is uh, fr frozen. So, uh, in some sense, in many body sense, uh, this is quite, uh, let's say, uh, precise. We don't use some uh, some crude approximation uh, for this many body. So, uh, we hope that this uh, final state has nice, uh, uh, realization. So we compared these three excited states, uh, which are suggested by Seda Wang uh, by uh, in 1991. Ah, something wrong. Anyway, so for this to use this uh, electron charge density, let's say or orbitals, uh, we implemented some Gaussian basis. Uh, at the interface. So uh, we, we uh, use this Gaussian basis and uh, played a bit. And uh, this uh, blue book, you can find this theory. So we can make a charge density and also columbic potential. Uh, because for electron atom, um, 
scattering, we need a chromic potential and we want to generate uh, optical potential by ourselves because potential should depend on the uh, photoelectron energy. And by using this, uh, let's say, theory, and uh, we implemented this interface. And uh, first, in the code, we uh, recovered this charge density uh, for these three uh, excited states and ground states. So we made a di uh, difference between ground states. And you see that difference uh, are different between uh, these three excited states. So uh, we did, uh, we confirmed that uh, these are quite different electron charge densities and can make different uh, angular distribution on uh, photoelectron diffraction. But indeed, if we compare these three states, uh, actually, uh, multiple scattering people know, uh, okay, for high energy, uh, that didn't like uh, the energy. This is uh, 100 EV. So 100 EV, of course, we expect cannot make big difference. But however, we saw between Mafiti and full potential uh, made uh, as a clear difference on the patch. So for photoelectron diffraction, uh, this Mafiti uh, full potential treatment is much more important. Then we calculated this dynamics of Coulomb uh, explosion, and uh, at the same time with the uh, uh, angular distribution of electrons. So you see that by changing the distance makes backscattering oscillating like x axis and then also forward scattering also oscillates like the uh, x axis yeah, and uh, we uh, actually plotted here muffin thin, blue, and full potential red. And uh, on the 100 EV of photoelectron and uh, difference of uh, uh, distance between C and O, so then getting longer and longer. And <clears throat> okay, here. Since this part, backscattering and also forward scattering should oscillate a bit. So uh, sometimes also muffin team is higher and oscillating. However, we see uh, some difference. But uh, we know uh, absorption uh, doesn't change uh, between muffin team and full potential in this energy range. This means uh, from the optical theorem, the integration uh, for uh, angular distribution should coincide to the uh, absorption if the potential is real. So uh, we expect that distribution is a bit different because of this uh, change of the phase, because phase shifts for muffin and full potential are slightly different. This makes this uh, phase change for back scattering and the forward scattering and so on. So change the bit, but after all, integration makes uh, almost the same uh, absorption. So uh, ah, then I had to say something here for the optical theory. Uh, no, here. Yeah, for so here some ch big change, but the uh, for the angular integration, we multiply this sinus theta. So here, this difference uh, goes very small because of sinus theta. So uh, forward scattering change uh, will be diminished by this in, in this uh, integration, so that we don't see much difference on uh, X absorption. So uh, we have uh, still. 15 minutes, so I want to show some uh, uh, let's say demonstration of the code. <clears throat> so uh, maybe uh, I think later Jan will tell you uh, the let's say, link uh, 
uh, to download our code. So uh, this is a uh, public uh, link. So if you go there, um, sorry, Kisa, you can get one thing. You have about five minutes, not fifteen. Ah, okay, five minutes. Okay, so for five minutes I stay. Okay, here you can find some uh, exe files and the example files, and then also instruction. Uh, how to use uh, the code on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So, yeah, uh, everything uh, detailed how to use and uh, about uh, uh, there is also <coughs> FPMS manual you can find. And what we use in the code is so-called data.ms, data for multiple scattering. And this format, you see that here, name list and the below structure uh, information. This is common for uh, uh, fast continuum code, potgen and bgen. These are uh, Reno notorious code and also fagen for GNSAS and MS spec, the same structure, and MSAN codes, uh, the same data files, same. So uh, you can, uh, how to say, learn quite easily for this kind of uh, input files. And uh, our code FPMS can handle this data.ms of other codes uh, without touching match. And also parameters, so this means parameters are quite uh, the same, same uh, characters, same meaning, and so on. And uh, another point that uh, this code can use uh, point group, so can diminish the computation time, and there is also some drawing uh, I'd say feature using OpenGL library. So uh, you can play with uh, if you want. And uh, we, we don't do much calculation because uh, I have been quite, quite busy. So uh, how many minutes left? I don't know. Uh, so yeah. Calculation, just I can do calculation, for example. About one minute, sorry. About one minute. One minute. Yeah. So for watching the structure for GCL for case, you see that uh, dark color sites are uh, empty cells. Empty cell has electron charge, only electron charge, and not really empty. But you see, germanium atom is truncated like BCC Wigner site cells. Yeah, you can put more empty cells to cover everything. Uh, then computation time increases, but nowadays not much. So that's all. Uh, thanks for uh, listening. And. Thank you very much. And we have some time for questions. Yes. Hello. Uh, I have a several technical problems. Uh, especially, I was interested in the solid states compound. Can you go back to the graphing? I think the slide of the graphing. Uh, yes, I have a question. Firstly, um, you generated the chart density by VASP. Then uh, the structure is periodical, or I mean the dense, uh, charge density for the uh, generated by the VASP. The uh, previous slide. Uh, I'm not 
here let probably uh, we, yeah with math a bit difficult so you are asking about the structure of uh, structure optimization or I didn't understand sorry uh, because here you mentioned your cluster radius about 30 and and strong so I thought your soft use the uh, cluster model not the periodical uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. so what we have done is that uh, we did some kind of okay, approximation that first for this uh, hole model we used uh, this uh, cluster and then uh, after we made let's say some uh, say uh, radius uh, I forgot the detail around here and then more than here we say uh, uh, electron charge is the same as ground state so we used ground state charge density and they increase so we mixed this how to say k space charge density and to generate real space uh, cluster But here you use the slab model, so it's still a periodical, I think. Sorry. You could just talk into the laptop. Okay, so uh, I think you here you use the slab model, so it's still a periodical, I think. And not similar to the cluster model. Uh, no, just uh, let's say, uh, I say infinite, yeah, supercell. Yeah. yeah. So so, but, uh, so it's still a periodical, I think. But in in the uh, in your code, you mentioned the cluster. So you use different models. One is uh, generated by uh, I mean you use the charge density for from VASP, which generated by a, a periodical or a periodical system. And then you compare your results by a cluster model generated by your code. I don't. Okay. I don't think, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So you probably. Sorry, make oh. some, uh, let's say, uh, confusion. Okay. Uh, so this no SGF is just making, let's say, uh, uh, real space cluster, uh, just increasing, but not self-consistently calculated. Mm -hmm. This SGF FBMS makes uh, mixing between uh, two bus calculations, ground state and final state. Uh, okay. Until some distance makes final state let's say core hole charge density after that we just uh, extend with a uh, ground state charge density so we can go quite far and the uh, photoelectron cannot go infinitely far should decay because of the uh, let's say uh, b free pass so always x day x -ray absorption find uh, zane's see some uh, real structure uh, we don't have real how to say uh, periodic uh, structure x they makes breaks this yeah um, so i still maybe i should try your your software but i still uh, but for the excited states you, for the excited states you use uh, how to generate the excited states i mean previously yeah. mentioned yeah. This is a, okay, this is a very good point. Yeah, this is a, a approximation. Uh, we used uh, DFT for core hole. This is a wrong. So we made, uh, let's say, frozen core hole for this uh, slab calculation. So this is, uh, a, I'd say, approximation. We don't know DFT can work uh, or not theoretically. We know uh, empirically can work, but uh, this is just uh, empirical now. Okay. So, okay, okay. I, I can try, yes, thanks. And I, I also have another question for, uh, but here you also for the very, I'm sorry, for the very simple uh, structures like uh, graphene, how about the compounds uh, within more complex structure uh, structures like containing molecules. Uh, I mean, take take a methamine lead iodide as example. The uh, hybrid inorganic and organic halide perovskite as example. So, can your code deal with this very complicated compound? 
So you are talking a uh, completely different say, material, not uh, combining. Uh, okay, okay. Anyway, so if you want to use, let's say, uh, charge DST calculated by as a code, then uh, if there is a code can handle some complicated, maybe some created system or something, okay, charge DST is right. But for some created system, I don't know if photoelectron can, for example, make more complicated, uh, say, some, uh, say, correlation like condo effect or something, then we cannot handle. So we can, what we can do is, I'd say, for KH and for some more simple system. Uh, so, yeah, some quantitative the material, I think for higher energy, okay, but for low energy, not okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. We have one more question. Yes, KSK, just a short question out of uh, pure curiosity. Uh, as you said, one of the technical problems in the Muffintin approximation is the, the, the choice of uh, suitable, uh, a suitable uh, model to, to find the, the, the Muffintin radius. And uh, I was just wondering, uh, I know that in uh, uh, FPMS, you, it's the wave function that you expand into spherical harmonics, but once you have your full potential, you can expand it in spherical harmonics and get the Muffintin component. And how would it compare? How that, did you check how it compares with the standard Muffintin potential in terms of, for instance, of radius? I see. So, okay, for Muffintin, uh, I use, uh, uh, let's say, that uh, criteria, normal criteria, uh, because here, all the uh, clusters have same uh, size yes. of the set, but here different because uh, we know from the experience that we should have uh, the we I have to say this normal criteria different size weight of the uh, radius may helps much. So I used yeah. I, I believe this is the best choice, but uh, yeah, I didn't think about so to compare if, the same. If I understand you well, that means that a muffintin potential extracted from the full potential will not be as good as the standard muffintin. Ah, sorry, because, I didn't understand. Because they, okay, would have no, I understand. E because they would have all equal uh, radii. So. Uh, maybe I didn't understand, but you say we use sphere, but inside full potential. Yeah, no, no. Uh, what I meant is that you take your full potential. Uh, Hi. You yeah. extract from it uh, the Muffintin component by expanding uh, into spherical harmonics. Uh huh. So in that case, you've got a Muffintin potential. But how how good is it compared to the the one you construct with the with the Norman criterion? I I don't know. I never tried and I okay. never thought about it. Okay, never yeah. mind. Okay, thanks, Keith. Thanks. thanks. Do we have more questions? Okay. Thank you, Chris, again. <laughs> and we have have an hour break. Please be back at 10 past 6.